All right. <clears throat> so, um, I had to check something to make sure I had my facts straight. Yeah, from the top. Anyways, so um, started about two weeks ago. Okay, um, maybe a week and a half, a week. I don't know. It was a while ago. Uh, I talked to Buddha, and and this is when they were getting smoked by like fucking three different gangs. I know. It was, I think it might even have been Rust at that time. It was Rust, GG, and MDM. And pretty much um, he hinted, or I hinted, or some shit like that, where like I was like, hey, if you're ever in a down like spot where you fucking need help, let us know and I got you. Um, obviously, and you know, they pay us or whatever. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'll hit you up. So I didn't hear from him until like, uh, let me see. He texted me three days ago. Call me when you can. Then um, kind of like delayed it here and there or whatever. We, this guy's always busy and also doesn't fucking answer phone calls. So then last night around this time, I told him, are we going to have a talk or what's up? He said, I'm getting my ass clapped. I'll call you when I can. Um, so kind of was just waiting on his phone call. During this time also... Uh, Probably two days ago, uh, Mary called me and she said that she's having problems with people if we would still uh, hook her up or help her out if we, uh, if she still has issues with people. And she ended up telling me it was like with people like Fiona and some like the Lane crew is what she told me that she's going to have beef with them possibly. And if she needs help, if we would help her out. And I pretty much told her and, you know, I was honest with her. I so, uh, like. Context is important, depends on what's going on, yada yada yada. But I told her as far as loyalty, to be honest, we like I, I fuck with her more than I fuck with like, you know, links or and shit like that. But truth I mean, you know, <laughs> money talks, you know what I'm saying? So we were kinda in a, a position where two different crews kinda like um are asking for our help, possibly. I think though Lang would want us to either smoke MDM for him or GG. And Mary would want us to smoke Link's crew. So, um, I, I, I was honest with her and I told her that, you know what I'm saying? But then, last night happened. And, uh, me, Frankie, Miguel, and who else was with us? Who's our fourth? Bash, I think. Bash. Yeah, we were all at, um, uh, we went to Grandma's because we fucked up, uh, Frankie. And, um... When we went there, Gigi was there, and they had Harry, Buddha, uh, in cuffs and everything because they just finished smoking them. Um. Oh yeah, Mario was there too. Uh, so. Yeah, Tyron changed, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we saw them there, and then we kind of heard where they were taking them. So we were like, went to change cars, we changed clothes, and we went to see if he helped Buddha. They ended up already going to the hospital, so we were looking for Buddha. I, I pulled up to the hospital when they were there, and Buddha said, Ha, this is the crazy part, okay? He told me $25 million uh, if you uh, help me out. He's like, give me a call if you're interested. $25 million. Yes. $25. Yes. That's all the rust is praying. Mm. Yep. Oh, oh, God, that's all the praying. All of them. Mm. Oh, my God. <laughs> some extra? Yeah. So, obviously, extra. that's... You know that's tempting as is okay um but before okay so obviously the only person i had told up to this point was miguel and frankie because frankie was just around you know being a good kitty cat okay. anyways um so me and miguel were cooking up ideas and we know what would be worth it and shit like that and miguel actually brought up a good idea that i didn't think would be possible and this is why we're here um i told oh miguel brought up the idea of know what if uh we take the casino and then i'm like fuck no there's no chance they're gonna give us a casino and then he said what about the suite imagine us having access to the goddamn suite where we could have meetings and it's just a big fucking chill spot you know what i'm saying it's like pretty cool i think it is at least um so then um when buddha offered me 25 mil after like 15 minutes or so i'm like oh wait what if we get money and then the suite so I then call him and I say, listen, Ling, I have a counter offer. 
um then i started yapping you know just started saying a bunch of words and i was like what about you know listen i know the chances of getting the casino are fucking pretty low and then as i was gonna say but the suite would be cool but he interrupted me in the middle of me saying uh casino and he said like he's down but he said the only thing you have to be worried about is it doesn't actually make that much money i hope you know that and i'll be honest bro I would have been just down to just say we own the goddamn casino and then just have access to the goddamn suite and only us have access to the suite. Yeah. But, but this guy literally just straight up said you could have the casino maybe. And it just, and the best part is apparently it makes money. So like as much as like he said, uh, sure, it doesn't make a lot of money. That's fine. But if there's, we can make some money back in return, then fuck it. I'm down. Yeah, casino control. is always yeah, winning, bro. Cool. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. House always win. We're gonna become rich. <laughs> Wait. Said, this, oh my God. Does that mean we own all the cars they put on the wheel? No, I. We gotta put the cars in the wheel, I bro. Don't know about that one. Oh my God. Yeah, we put our own cars on the bro. wheel. Bro, think of how much money we would make if we put our own cars on the wheel, bro. We just buy a every car, car for like so two mil. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just make, make like... it so that every Ooh. car had to be at least like ten mil before we got one. Oh my oh god, my. we're oh cooking so smart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna Wait, lie, there... bro. I was already cooking up ideas. What if we. Listen, bro. All these gambling addicts would fall for this shit. You know how, like, let's say the chances of you winning at the wheel is probably like 0001% or some bullshit? What if we, like, listen, you throw in, you know, 100k our, our way, you know, we'll make it Wait. from 0001 to 1%? Wait, that means Lily will actually put <laughs> game. Uh, oh my god, Lily's gonna put money into Oh the my game god, account. that means that all the money we've been putting into the casino is coming back to us. <laughs> yes! So, this, Lily's uh, no longer scamming us. I, I mean, listen, I don't know what actually makes money, okay? But the fact that he said you don't make a lot of money, I don't know what makes money, like... I'm assuming what the fuck is a lot of money to this guy as well, bro. This guy yeah, has true. infinite money. Yeah, only 10 yeah. I mean, the way he made it seem the casino is dead, which kind of is, you know? So, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'll talk to we him about that. We have to do stuff with it, though. Hey, bro, yeah, I I know, even if it. we don't do fucking anything, it's turf. It's Listen, a sick... Yeah, yeah. Six uh, the way I also see it is we're probably not going to be hanging out here that much. It's like... What? 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 what do you mean? Well, it's going to be the same as, like, uh, if we fall away from everyone. I feel like it's. Uh, I mean, I agree. It's not gonna know? be okay. I agree. We're not gonna be waking up at the casino, hanging out here every single day, but it's a spot that we know is gonna be secure. It's a spot that we know if we ever want to have talks, which we know we have often have, we could always come here. Yeah, but what I was uh, coming with this is more like we can think about stuff to do here, to like you know to make it more alive. Yes. At least like the bottom floor, you know. Yes, I agree. I agree, I agree, I agree. I like, even if it's, sheets. like, lottery stuff, winning cars, whatever, whatever. Like, as long as he brings people in, you know? Yeah. Then we made mad money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think it? we go through all this because I know what Buddha's like, bro. Buddha changes his mind more than anyone, so, bro, he can wake up today and be like, eh, ah, no, never mind. Yeah, yeah so, but... so, yeah, so I guess don't get too, your hopes up too much, but, I mean, we left off at, we're going to talk to this morning about it. So, I don't know how likely it is and stuff like that, but you know, that's kind of, like, the goal. I just don't see it being possible. What? <clears throat> Why? We're just gonna have to stop fucking up Ross to go fuck up GG? Uh, I mean, all that... W Listen, okay. Hear me out here. If we did, let's say, go fuck up GG, okay? I think the idea would be... Buddha just doesn't want GG on their backs anymore. Bro. As much as it would pay me, I don't know. Listen, maybe I'm stupid for saying this, okay? I would as, go pay GG, bro. To say, you'll leave him That's them, what yeah. I'm saying, bro. We go fight yeah. GG for three days, and worst case scenario, they take the better fights. Bro, I'll pay GG a million or two and be like, you know what, bro? You won. I bend the knee. It's over. Congrats. <laughs> oh, and we have a casino, bro. And guess okay, what? I mean, we own the motherfucking yeah. casino now. <laughs> no, that's a good one. So, okay. I mean, it but is now, what it is. As soon as they do that, and we bend the knee, then they go attack the lang again. No, I mean, we would say they back off us. Make sure that yeah, I mean, when we end the war, I'd be like, listen, we'll give you a million or two, and then just make sure you leave them alone, too. I mean, listen, that's just worst case scenario, let's be honest, bro. You're thinking way too far ahead, bro. Yeah, so let's, uh, we don't got to think too far into it, like, but I'm just saying worst case scenario. Yeah. I do agree with Raul. Like, my focus is rust, and I want to fucking demoralize every single one of the puns to the point mm -hmm. that you give up. I think the idea, though, is um, 
this would be like a long term thing. Like even if like he doesn't want us to go after Gigi now, it's like he he knows that like if he ever has issues with anyone, we got his back. You know. He's calling us pretty much.